what inspired me to write this book before I got here was a conversation I had with my four-year-old son, who is now eight. This was four years ago. And at that particular time, this day, he was really intrigued by jokes. What made a joke funny? Why do people laugh at jokes? And I was explaining to him about, yeah, sometimes it's timing, sometimes it's the button of a joke. Sometimes it's because it has a double meaning or a double entendre. So he was four, and double entendre, he just, I think he liked the way it sounded, the rhythm of the words. Uh, so all day long, he was trying to find phrases or words that had a double entendre. And later on that evening, he said something about having a dream last night. And he said, hey, Daddy, I, hey, hey, Daddy, last night has two meanings. It means last night a few nights ago, and last night, the last night before there are no more mornings and no more nights. And I said, uh, wow. It just kind of stopped me for a second. And I pulled the car over. And I said, say that again. And then he elaborated. He said, the last night before there are no more mornings and no more nights, and that's when all the people go up to heaven. It's a double entendre, Daddy. As you can imagine, this tripped me out. This <laughs> really, really surprised me. But I tell you, I knew enough at that time being a new parent of only four years. Because my mother had always said, encourage kids. Listen to what they have to say. I asked him, well, who told you that? And he said, well, God told me when he made me, but I only had one ear at the time, so I could only hear a little. That was the inspiration for the book. And when I shared that with other friends of mine who are parents or other caregivers who have children, they said, well, listen, let me tell you what my son or daughter or niece or nephew said. And that was the impetus for the book. A lot of the stories, by and large, had a common denominator. And that common denominator was that a lot of these children said they chose their families or they chose their parents. I was really amazed by that. Another thing we've realized was most of these remembrances really happened around the age of four or five, sometimes before two, three, but not many happened beyond age six. So I think at that time, by age six, you really start to edit yourself and you're really more self-conscious. It's just really fascinating to see what would come out of the mouths of these little people. I allude to the other place in the uh, introduction to the book, and the reason I say other places is because we don't really know what that place is. Many people refer to it as heaven. Many people have different names for it. This book is not under any particular religion or dogma. It is just simply to listen to what children say because they are definitely connected in a spiritual way to some other place, and that's why I refer to it in that way. The young people and elderly people are more connected to that place than most of us are because they're closer to the entrance door and the exit door of life. A great many of the kids speak about seeing relatives, like grandparents who had passed away before they were born. And in many of these instances, the parents say they would not have known about the grandparents, had not seen pictures of the grandparents. Or even more surprising is when a child would speak of a sibling that is to be born that they knew in heaven or whatever they call it, that they knew before. And they would basically prophesy that before the mother or the parents knew that they were even pregnant. To me, those are the most profound when they speak of relationships in that other place. The main thing I hope readers will get from this book is more of a desire to listen to the souls of their children or the children around them, to really give them the respect that they deserve. Because it's so easy to dismiss kids because they're just kids. They're only children. They don't know any better. But they do have a wisdom within them that is worth listening to and worth learning from.